Lovely winter's day here at Stowhill, and here comes a, a stunning boat. She's called Firefly. She's 57 feet long, go anywhere size. She's built in 2012 by Staffordshire Narrowboats and fitted out beautifully by Peter Royal. She's been in the hands of the current owners for a couple of years. They had a dream, they've now done that, so they're moving on to the next one and selling her. She's in fabulous condition. The paintwork is immaculate. I don't use that word lightly. She was last blacked in August 2019. She had three coats put on then. She was serviced at the end of the summer 90, uh, 2019. rather. There we go, Firefly. NZ, because the original couple who, who bought her were from New Zealand. 300 watts solar panels are on the roof. They're new. 300 watts of solar power. A couple of side hatches on board. One either side of the galley. You'll see those. Lovely large windows. Bus style windows, seven of those and two opening portholes on board. There she is, shining in the sunshine. Cratch cover is in very good condition, as is the pram hood cover at the back. The two 13 kilo gas bottles are in that forward locker. Lovely glazed front doors. And onto the well deck we go. Let's have a look, see if you like her as much as I do. It's an unusual arrangement, the dinette area is at the forward end of the saloon here. There are two demountable tables, they do link and they store under there, under that little flap there. Loads of storage under here. There's a step there but there is a cushion as well that goes on there for an additional seat at the head of the table. So she would seat six very comfortably if you had a couple of bar stools for, for the port side. And this is ingenious, this sofa, move the coat, c c uh, cushions rather over to the other side and the, the back just flips over. So if you wanted a couple of people sitting facing the saloon area, you can do it very easily. There's room for a sofa or a sofa bed in here, two of those captain's armchairs that are so popular. Large radiator, the central heating is an Eberspacher system, diesel. That fires two large radiators and a towel rail. Television there, cupboards either side. Television was new in October 2018. There are so many cupboards on this boat, I'm going to try and show you all of them uh, for the benefit of you cupboard lovers, including Mike on YouTube. So into the galley. Large cupboard on the corner here. The fit out basically is oak face ply and it's engineered oak on the floor. Little jar or spice rack cupboard there. Large double cupboard under the sink. And under here is the washing machine. That's a candy compact. And there's one of the side hatches I mentioned. Another cupboard on the aft corner of this kitchen unit. Cupboard's over. All the lighting on board, by the way, is LED. On the other side of the boat, microwave sits over the grill, which sits over the eye level oven. And under that, neatly squirreled away, is the fridge. That's a Shoreline 12 volt fridge with an ice box. Another side hatch next to the cooker. And there's a separate freezer under there, that's 12 volt as well, with a good storage space above it. Quite unusual this, a five burner gas hob, under which some huge drawers. It's all soft clothes. And next to that, a bank of one, two, three, four further drawers. The saloon, by the way, is 15 and a half feet long, and the galley is eight feet long. So generously proportioned areas. Solid fuel stove there, I didn't mention, that's an Arga Little Wenlock solid fuel stove. And down we go towards the bathroom, and these are ingenious. Such good use of space under the gunnels here. These are good for laundry or shoes or whatever you like really, knickers and socks. The last two are cupboards rather than the pull out, drop down things. Into the bathroom, there's a sliding door. Bathroom's a good size, six and a half feet long. Cupboards and mirrors over this very stylish glass basin. The loose sits next to that, it's an electric flush macerator 
pump out. There's a 385 litre holding tank. In a lovely quadrant shower. There's an extractor fan in here, by the way. There is a spare porta potty in the engine room uh, for emergencies, should that be of interest. Into the bedroom. Another large radiator. The bed itself extends to five feet wide very easily. I'll need to be in the middle to pop that back in. So it's six foot eight inches long, very long, and goes to five feet wide. Plenty of storage over. Quite deep, these cupboards. A couple of good sized cupboards at the head of the bed. Beautifully fitted out, lovely floor, lovely woodwork, lovely inlays. Huge storage area under here. And good space at the foot of the bed. The bedroom's 11 and a half feet long. There's a wardrobe here. Good sized cupboard underneath. There's storage everywhere on this boat, everywhere you look. Very neatly arranged electrical panels, fuse boxes and things, isolation switches. There's the inverter, it's a three kilowatt Victron inverter charger. Got a powerful inverter. Storage under these steps. Lots of it as well, that's quite deep that one. And on the starboard side another wardrobe with a dressing mirror on the door that I'm trying to avoid. Under that, a drawer, and another cupboard. It is important to show cupboards on boats, I believe. If you're looking at buying a boat seriously, you need to know what it offers in many respects. Out onto the stern deck, super large, seven feet six inches long. Very good condition pram hood, and the front windscreen zips up for visibility. Under the engine boards is the Isuzu 42. It's super quiet driving this boat. And there's mood lighting under the taffrail. Switches just on the instrument panel there. That'd be lovely on a summer's evening. And those lockers either side of the back doors are just storage lockers or seats. So let's have another walk back through the boat. There's usually something that I've missed. She has a beautiful feel to her. There are five batteries on board, four domestics, one start. They were all new in April 2019, so less than a year old. Hot water on board, that's supplied by the engine, the Eberspacher central heating, or there is a new immersion heater. Head height, by the way, is six feet, eight inches tall. And there's a stereo on board, that's a Pioneer, and it's got a subwoofer, whatever on earth that is, with speakers through the boats. And she feels so lovely, this boat. Shame to be leaving her. There's a further photograph, uh, gallery of photographs on our website, a fully downloadable brochure, and also the price www.rugbyboats.co.uk.